Hey, today we are going to build a new aluminum frame for the ANET 88. Let's have a look at this beast. Uh, this is one of the cheapest printers you can get and as you would expect it's built really cheaply. For example, this is a acrylic frame, obviously not very good for the quality of your prints. Therefore today we will replace this with a new aluminum frame made of 30x30 30 30 extrusions. This should dramatically improve the quality of our prints, uh, we should get rid of um, any ghosting, we should be able to use much higher print speeds, stuff like that, everything very positive. It should make the printing a little bit quieter as well. Right, so we'll take this as a donor, we'll make the frame and take all of the hardware components as well as the electronics from this one, put it in a new frame. I've built those 30 by 30 extrusions online. Um, they are perfect for this application. I had them cut to specific dimensions. I'm going to link a checklist with all the things that you will need in the description so that you have it on one place. So have a look down there. Then of course you'll need some fasteners. Uh, I'm using M6 bolts and flange nuts which are perfect for this groove as well as some M3 bolts and nuts. Um, all the dimensions are in the description as well. Then you will need a few things to put this uh, frame together. All of which you can print on your ANT8 before you take it apart, which is amazing. So I've printed all of these beforehand. There is the Dubai piece. Putting this together, I obviously made sure that everything is nicely squared. Now we can start building up the Z axis. So now that the frame is built, um, I've checked for squareness everywhere, so everything is nice and square to each other. Uh, I'm gonna start taking apart um, the original printer. I'm probably going to start with retracting the filament and taking apart the y-axis and installing it in here. Now that we have the y-axis mostly built up, uh, there are a few things I would like to point out. Uh, firstly, you have to make sure that those two rods are perfectly parallel to each other, otherwise it won't go smoothly. Those two pulleys, uh, which uh, drive the belt, uh, have to be lined up perfectly so that uh, the belt doesn't wander around. And this end switch for the y-axis um, the holes for it are actually really close uh, to the linear rod here so that you have to bend it a little bit so that it works. You just take pliers, bend it a little bit and it should work just fine. Alright, so as you can see I've already put the Z motors in, the Z end stop as well as the control board here. So basically 
how to call the wax is done for now. We are going to put the heat bed in a little bit later, I think. We've got the rods in, so now we will put the X axis in. So a few things to note here, as you can see we are putting the rods in first, then we will put in the x-axis assembly, then we will secure the rods uh, with the stop part right here, and then afterwards we will put the threaded rod in and secure it here to the stepper motors. So this is the easiest way I find to put it in. Right now I'm going to wire all the electronics. So now that everything is wired in, we've got the heat bed in and everything, it's now time to level the x-axis. To do this I'm going to use a can of soda and reasonably flat surface, which is this table, and uh, some calipers just like for the reference and I'm going to line both, both of these to the same height. I think when I do it is pretty self-explanatory. Right, I will call this level enough. So we can now power this up and give it a try, turn it on and now I think I can home all of the axes and hopefully it's going to work, let's give it a go. Okay, the X, the Y, it's now the Z axis. Right, the Z is the zero. All right. The extruder is nicely lined up with the bed, so now I can just simply level the bed and probably start printing. As you can see the filament is already in there, so I'm probably gonna do this right now. I'm just going to level it up and give it a go. See if it works, see how loud it is, if there's any improvements, things like that. As you can see our A88 has a new beautiful metal frame, everything works perfectly. I've already done a few test prints, I've increased the print speeds only by 20% for now to do some tests of course, but everything seems to work really nicely, there is no jitter, there is no ghosting, everything works perfectly. It's still a little bit loud to my liking though, because it sits on this hard table, it tends to resonate, but I will put some kind of rubber matting underneath the frame here and this should quiet things down as well. Um, of course there are a few things I need to do, I need to sort out the cables of course, they are a mess at the moment, so I will probably print out some parts to attach them to the frame somehow. I would like to attach the LCD on top here as well as the spool with the filament. Uh, this will make the whole printer much more compact. Uh, the, print, uh, the build went really smoothly. Uh, there were a few problems along the way of course, but nothing serious. Uh, I will put a link to a blog post or PDF with all the bolts and nuts you will need and parts in the description. All the modified parts I had to make, stuff like that, so that your build will go even better than mine. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. 
and I'm gonna see you around. Bye.